Hey guys, down out there, my name is Kenneth. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Projector Screens using Smart Technology Gain. And today I'm going to show you guys a few tips on how to use our blackout cloth to design your ultimate home theater screen. All right, so this right here is uh, the outer edges of the uh, blackout cloth. I actually cut one to size it up to a piece of plywood, which I use a stapler gun to uh, execute my screen. And I know those of you who have watched the video many, many times, you saw the thickness of the screen. You're probably thinking the screen was going to be very hard to manage, or the black oak cloth was very hard to manage and, um, and cut to be used or sized to your screen. Now, uh, just to add real quick, this is uh, the reason why it looked very thick on the outer edges because it had to be doubled, uh, layered in order to accommodate the tension holes or the uh, tension loops that some people will be using for their tension uh, frames. Now just to add real quick, if you have a tension frame that's outside, you can use this due to the fact that the material is mold resistant and weather resistant, which is fantastic, and so is the chemical itself. Um, you don't have to worry about your screen cracking or peeling or becoming faded or washed out uh, due to the everyday conditions that uh, pl will plague your screen. All right, so once you cut your screen, this is for those of you that are not going to be using a tension frame. You're going to be cutting your screen out just for plywood or you're building it for your um, customized frames. All you would have to do is just cut along the edges and remove this part right here. And this is what you're left with. So you can see the screen is very flexible, very easy to use, very managed to use, very, very, very easy to manage. Sorry about that. And just to add with our screens, besides some of these screens you will see out here on the market, you will not pay for color. Now, depending if you're buying a projector screen or blackout cloth, they will charge you for color. The white screens will be cheaper due to the fact that they have very poor contrast levels and the colors do not pop. So if you have a white screen and it's becoming washed out, that's due to the fact that the very poor gain that the screen comes with and the fact that it is a white screen. All right, so with this being said, our screens come in four colors. They come in the 4K black, they come in ultra light silver, and they come in dark silver. And just to add that this will not cost you extra. If you go out on the market and you try to get a screen, it's for those of you that are buying screens for the first time, you go on the market, you try to buy a projector screen, you don't want it in white, you want it in a form of a light gray or dark gray, you will pay more for that. If you notice our screens are not gray, they are actual silver. These are real silver screens. Uh, so is the dark screen behind you, actually over here, is uh, a dark silver screen. And this is the first, camera focus here a little bit better, this is the first jet black blackout cloth on the market. Uh, this screen is absolutely amazing, especially when it comes to contrast levels. Uh, just to add, when it comes to the projector, you must use a projector of, you don't must use it, but it is the requirement we ask for that you use a projector of 25 to 2600 lumens. You can use a projector of 2000 lumens if it is short throw. Um, you can do that, all right? Just to let you know. If you want to use a long throw at 2000 lumens, you can, but it's not going to plague too well if you use it outside. All right. Um, let me see, let me move along here. I'm trying to figure out what else I got to say here. Okay, okay, so we already know that you're not going to pay extra for color. That comes free. The screen ratio size, and this is if you want a screen in widescreen format, which will be 16.9 and 16.10. Um, this will cost you extra. I have never seen any projector screen company charge you or give you a free uh, size when it comes to the ratio size, so you will pay extra if your screen is 16.9 or 16.10. That is a free option with our screens. Also, to the gain of the screen. Now, the gain of the screen, for those of you who don't know, that's basically on how much light or how bright your screen is and how much light it can basically um, can be inflicted on the screen or how bright the screen is. So you will pay extra for that. The higher the gain on the screen, the more expensive the screen will become. So with our screens, our screens are all embedded with one code, which is the smart technology gain. Does it make a difference if you buy a screen that's only about five feet by 10 feet, which is only $468, or if you buy a screen that is six feet, or actually eight feet by 20 feet, that's $1,500. It, they're all going to be. They're all going to have the exact same quality um, picture. 
The difference is you're just going to be paying for size. That's the only thing you pay for is size. Um, our screens all come with free worldwide shipping. And if you have a PO box, we can ship to that military base. Doesn't make a difference. We can get your screen to you. Now, screen sizes that come in 235.1 will be screen sizes from 6 feet to 8 feet high, 20 feet across. Uh, screen sizes that will be coming with the free neon kits and the wall mount brackets will be screen sizes from 100 inch to a sorry yeah 100 inch to 150 inch sorry about that our starting screen is at five feet 10 feet across that is for 468 dollars that does come with the kit just let you guys know uh one of the things too if you're a first timer and you're buying screens for the first time you do not need a high-end and high-power projector. Um, I'm going to show you the model number of the projector behind me that I'm going to be using on the demonstration. You don't have to have an expensive projector. A lot of these high-end screens on the market that will cost you between $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 and up. We'll charge you a ton of money for their screens, but the screens have some flaws. I tested these uh, different sample sheets, which we had to remove due to the fact that a few of these companies got the whining and crying about it, so we removed all the demonstrations that had anything to do with their sample sheets. But those of you who have seen those demonstrations have noticed that these screens are plagued with the fact that some of them have to be used in dedicated theaters, which means your walls have to be a certain color. White walls or light colored walls will basically will actually add more light to the room, will actually will plague the screen, also to lighting conditions, um, how the screen is positioning, how the projector is positioning. The projector would have to be mounted to the ceiling, have to be in line with the screen. Uh, these screens are, some of them are designed to be viewed right in the center, which which means you can't be on an angle to use the screen and some of these screens can't be used with short throw projectors and like as I said before you will pay extra for color you will pay extra for the gain of the screen it's just a bit of a nightmare and then on top of that you have to have a certain model projector or certain specs on a projector in order to execute these screens so you know what I'm getting at here the nightmare anyway so with our screens, pretty much any angle, you can use any form of projector that you want. Um, you can you get the uh, gain, actually our gain actually pretty much is free because it's a smart technology chemical embedded into the screens. Um, with uh, ratio sizes are free, um, color is free, and the only thing you have to pay for is size. Hmm. Fantastic. Now when it comes to our blackout cloth, we are the first um, company that has a blackout cloth that will allow you to use it with a tension frame. You can cut it and customize it, or basically it comes with, not or basically, but it does come with free colors. It does come with free ratio sizes of 16, 9, 16, 10, 235.1. So it is fantastic. And let's see what else did I forget. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, the black uh, screens have to be used with projectors of 25 to 2600 lumens. You can use them with short throws up 2000 lumens. The ultra silver and dark silver can be used with projectors as low as 300 lumens. Woohoo! All right, so let's come over here real quick. I'll show you how I put my screen together here. Very easy piece of plywood, ran some staples into the screen. Done. These are the brackets that will come with your kit. Very easy to use. Just hang them up right here, lock them in place. They come with a a leveler, a level or a level, well, I don't know what called, levy or level, whatever it is, and with the package so it's easy to actually size your screen and basically get it even. And if your screen is a little off, this rail slides back and forth, so easy to adjust your screen. Sorry about the mess down here. Um, it comes with tables, and I call these tables because what you do is you place them here and here and here along the side of the screen, and that allows your screen to lift out from the wall. Why? Because you're going to be using these neon lights. They're going to connect to the back of the screen. And what that's going to do is, this is the whole full kit right here. What this is going to do is, it's going to allow the lights to push out and push this way. So the lights are going to come out and hit the wall and they're going to push out. And then you're going to get this. This is the floating screen effect right here. So this is what's going to come with your kit. Um, let me see, hold on for a minute. Come here and find the remote control. This is a remote control that comes with your kit. So you have the dimmers and so forth. You can make it brighter and so forth, all the different colors. There's all, let me get this camera for a little better. There all, there's all the different options, quick, slow, auto, flash, hold nine yards, so that's all there for you guys. All right, so now we got all that out of the way. You see how easy it is to build our screens, how easy to use our materials. Let me show you what the product looks like. Now, for those of you that are worried that you have too much ambient light in your room, those of you that are worried that you have a window next to your screen, not to worry. Show you all the lights we have going on in here. Pretty bright environment. Let's go over to the window. 
we're going to open this up. So we have plenty of light in the screen. And as you can see, my blinds are not halfway down. You can see the stop sign, you can see the vehicle, you see the objects outside my house, you can see that the blinds are fully open. Let's go over here to the projector real quick and show you the projector that I'm using. I'm using the NEC VT595 projector. Just loaded, it should, uh, just to let you know, sorry about that guys, that this projector will cost you about 150 bucks. We do not use expensive projectors in our demonstration. We never will. And the reason why is because any screens don't look amazing if you're using an ultra sure throw laser $50,000 projector, all right? So you gotta kinda keep it real. When people watch those demonstrations, you know, if you can afford $50,000 for a projector, kudos to you. But if you can't, it doesn't relate to you. That video can't relate to you. Our videos can relate to you because our screens are reasonable. They are priced so everybody can afford them. And we use projectors that if anyone can say, hey look, that projector has lower specs than mine, then my projector is gonna work fantastic on that screen. That's what we want you to have. We want you to have that kind of confidence when it comes to our product. Not look at a, a screen and go, wow, an amazing screen, and good God, that's a projector they're using, and then you see the price of the screen, and then both of them combine together and you have a small heart attack. <laughs> so we thought you don't have that problem. Our screens look absolutely incredible. And then when you see the projectors that we're using, you're like, wow, okay, my projector's gonna be just fine. And that's what we want. All right. Boom. That's what I want to show you right there. Tell me that it's not amazing right there. I think I have my off centered, but I eh, got time to do this. I'll fix it later. All right. Let me go over real quick. My, uh, my frames are off. I'm going to start this really quick. All right. Look at the color. Jet black screen, light cascading through the window. And look at the colors on that screen. We're using a very cheap projector. I mean, the projector is like 150. One place I saw it for $60. Imagine if, you were, if I'm sitting right here and I'm watching TV, I have a window right here. Look how amazing it looks. And I just want to add real quick, if my time, the camera cuts off, I apologize for that. I have very little time on my camera here. I uh, just want to add real quick, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projector Screens. Using smart technology gain, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the like button. Um, we're just out here just trying to bring out a better, more high performance projector screen on the market that will not cost you an arm and a leg and give you the peace of mind that you don't have to go through all the nonsense and rigorous restrictions just in order to execute a beautiful picture. Anybody can do it. Anybody. Very easy to design your screen. You just look at this, it's just an everyday piece of plywood and it's just using our, utilizing our blackout cloth. And we can put our projector anywhere we want. Set it on the floor, we can have lights on, walls are not going to plague our screens as in the different color of the walls. You can use white walls, it's not gonna be a problem for our screens.